happy Friday. Thanks for watching again. This week we're discussing how we handle confrontation or questions from other people uh, regarding our relationship with someone who is transgender and people who might not quite understand. Um, <clears throat> the topic was a little bit unique for me this week. Um, the question was really as far as how do you explain to people staying in a relationship with someone after they have transitioned? And my answer was just a little bit different because when Jake and I first started dating, I knew that he was trans, and so basically I already knew what I signed up for, so to speak. And um, so I didn't really have the same experience as some other people, whereas they may have begun the relationship as a... Um, a lesbian relationship and then the person transitioned um, so I would say that I really haven't faced that much confrontation um, most of the people that I know nowadays don't know that Jake is trans um, my really close friends that we've been friends with for a really long time they know and um, I don't know, I've just never really ha encountered that uh, question of someone asking me, like, why do I stay with him, uh, even though he's transgender. I mean, I can give you a million answers why I stay with him, um, because I'm in love with him, and uh, I've never been in love before, so, um, like I said, I knew what I signed up for, so there was never really a question of, like, leaving, you know? I mean, I... <laughs> That, um, that wasn't really m my experience with his transition process. But, um, I mean, I have had some people ask me sort of questions about, like, our sex life. Like, why, why don't you want to be with a real man? And, you know, why do you stay with someone like that? And, um, my answer to that is always, he is a real man. And <laughs> as far as the sex life goes, I mean, not to get too personal, but, um, our sex life, you know, with my partner and I right now is the best that I've ever had, so <laughs> I don't have any complaints in that department. I mean, of course, dysphoria sometimes is hard to handle because sometimes I don't really know how to be there for him when he's feeling kind of uncomfortable about things, and sometimes that can be kind of hard, but um, I feel like we are much closer on an intimate level and um, I don't know our sex life is just a lot more emotional and not just physical um, so I don't know I am completely happy with my partner and I wouldn't have it any other way I mean sometimes I do think you know I wish that Maybe we could have our own biological children, but like I've said before, that wasn't really anything that I really wanted before. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm completely happy with him, and I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have plenty of answers for that question, but, um, I would say that maybe some tips for explaining your relationship to other people not that you even have to explain your relationship to other people I mean that's your business and you probably will face animosity from other people no matter what the situation is not even just because your partner is transgender but I do think that dealing with those types of questions in an honest and caring way is the best way because if you get defensive, that only kind of fosters that hate and ignorance that can sometimes come with people not understanding the situation. So I feel like if you're open and honest with people when they ask you questions, I mean, yeah, your partner might be stealth, and so maybe you don't want to reveal too many personal details about your relationship with your partner because that's really up to your partner as well as far as um, them not wanting other people to know but definitely being open and honest and come from a place of love and you know fostering knowledge and not hate I mean some people will ask questions simply because they're curious so I do think um, it is important to educate people the right way um, because people are afraid of what they don't understand so uh, this generation, you know, is probably a lot more open about things, um, as far as concerning the LGBT community, so it is, um, 
nice that you know you might just get some people asking questions just because they are curious and want to know how to treat the LGBT community with respect instead of ignorance so that's great I think there's nothing wrong with questions but at the same time respecting your partner's privacy and your partner's wants um, is really important as well so um, but yeah I just can say that I really haven't met that much animosity or questioning as far as you know why do you stay with someone who's transgender I mean I everybody knows how close um, my partner and I are and how happy we are together so I don't know I don't really know the right answer to that question because I haven't encountered that before but um, I hope that you all enjoy my video and have a wonderful weekend and um, my cat is freaking out I don't know why <laughs> but uh um, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you all next week. Okay, bye!